All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to a Sneakers Insight video, and it looks like wear testers. I seen these shoes, and it, and it this video, I'm like, I'm curious, I'm curious, but yeah, it looks like they're reviewing the new KDs. I got the actually, no, I'm using one of the, um, I'm using the twelves as a stand for my fan, and then I have a pair of thirteens, I have a pair of elevens. I have like the 11s is like a rainbow colorway and then the 12s is the YouTube colorway and then the 13s are the bread colorway which looks just like some like well you guys I'm thinking can y'all see them is it in the camera no it just stops off at the threes but on the other side there's some bread 11s and they look just like the breads but um they're they're okay I like them but no I, I do like the uh KD shoes they're pretty comfortable they're pretty comfortable so let's see maybe I might um end up getting these but Anyways, if you guys haven't, make sure you go subscribe to Wear Testers for more videos like this. And then that being said, let's get into this video. Gotta do smell. I actually Man, like that colorway. 2021 has too many potential bad boys. Just saying. Yeah, I like that hey, record good, back kind of like uh, Kyrie shoes a little bit. That's what they kind it looks like it looks like a Air Max. Like it has like the body shape of an Air Max, and then it looks like a Kyrie shoe. I guess like it, you know it, he can take like some sort of inspiration from it since they're teammates. But dang, that looked just like that looked like it looks like the like older brother of like Kyrie shoes. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these potential bad boys right they here. This nice is though. the 14th iteration of Kevin Durant's signature sneaker line, and this is the KD14. So first things first, before I get started on any of the tech specs or any of that stuff, which most of you guys probably already know because they already released on sneakers and all of that stuff, but I did just want to say that these remind me of an altered version of my favorite KD shoe, which is the KD7. It just looks mm. kind of like a mid-top reimagining, re-rendition, if you will. Everything from the traction, the way the cushion feels all the way on up to the upper just very very like, like a running shoe a little bit like it. I don't look like, like a basketball shoe well for people who have fun with numbers this would be like the 2.0 so 7 times 2 equals 14 oh yeah, oh, yeah. now with that being said <laughs> let's take a look at that traction man that is aggressive it's all over the it place nice. and it, nice. it reminds me a little bit of last year's model with these little ovaly things mm. and I really liked last year's traction I thought it was great I actually yeah. think that the KD line right now is on a really good high because while I didn't like the KD a 11 whatsoever other than like the cushioning the kd12 and 13 yeah. have just been really really good shoes the kd13 had some issues but not like anything to make it yeah because like there was like before they mixed the uh because it was i think with the 13s it was just a zoom cushioning but i think it was with the 12s and the 11s it was zoom and react so if, if you guys know it's because even i had noticed like this it feels a little off like it don't feel the same and I think that's because they took out the React cushioning and then blended in some of the, uh, or just had it, it was just a full zoom unit and things, but not full zoom unit, but just overall it was just zoom cushioning, so. I mean, like, nah, all that. These, though, they feel like they've just taken what had worked out of both models and kind of slapped them in here and then yeah. again added some things from previous stuff like the strap. So I think these things are going to work really well. The rubber is very soft, so just keep that in mind for those of you guys that play outdoors, which happens to be me right now, because I still don't have gyms, man. Dang. That's messed up. Messed up. I don't know up. what's going on. They're opening everything, but the one thing I need. Well, June 15th. It got, like, uh, Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness, did they have, like, basketball courts? I don't know. I've never been inside of a Planet Fitness or LA Fitness or... I've been inside of a gym, but that was like years ago. But it, it, they had a basketball court. I don't know, but anyway. Believe. Well, that'll be a good birthday present. An early one. For me. Dang. But again, I think this is going to play really well. It looks great. It feels great. Just it be aware nice. for outdoor guys that it might not last too long, but it should perform well. At least that's what I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like this is going to be great from all angles. Me, I wear, I wear my shoes for like casual reasons. What did, what did she or he or she say? But I'll be wearing shoes for casual reasons. I don't really be like playing out in them and things. I should though, but. Perform well, at least that's what I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like this is gonna be great from all angles. That's what she said. Now the cushioning is something that some people are not liking because they technically removed 
some stuff. So again, the 12 and the 13, they had the full length zoom strobel, which these guys do have. Also, these have the same insole as the KD-13, which is the, the mold to your foot, Kobe 6-like insole and everything, which I love. It also feels a little bit thinner than the last one. So I think that it'll mold to your foot a little bit faster. That's the only downside to those insoles, man, is that they will give you and crazy blisters for a little bit until they start to really shape around mm. your toes. My toes get rubbed raw until that happens. Why do you think that is? Is it because you're sliding? It might be because there's not a lot of give to it. You know how like most insoles are a little fluffy or soft and so you like sink into it and you yeah. still will have sliding until it really starts to crater. But this stuff is kind of like styrofoam and so mm. until you really start to pack it down, it's just a board. It takes you know some what I mean? time. It'd be, it almost feels like playing on a board last, like a strobel, but they have a liner on top so it's not like uncomfortable comfortable or like scratchy but I do think it's from that I think it's because it's stiff but it's just a little thing just you know be aware the insole is a little uncomfortable at first however again that zoom struggle man that's a joke I love that sh but the KD-12 had another zoom unit in the heel, whereas the KD-13 had another one in the forefoot. These guys, the 14s, have none of that. It just has the zoom strobel, and that's all the air that you get. And again, that's where some people are kind of upset, especially because the price point is still 150, which I actually don't mind. I don't think yeah. that a non-increase or a non-decrease is a bad thing, just because yeah. they did upgrade the foam. The foam it's like, is- My thing is, it's like, okay, like, yeah, they're 150 now. Imagine, like, in the future, they're gonna be two. These shoes, I'm telling you, 20, 30 years from now, when KD is a legend, KD ain't even playing no more. He's had this, like, big, sad retirement and all that stuff. Years down the road, when he's not playing and they decide to re-release these shoes again, oh, it, it well, for one, it's going to probably, like, change up like most shoes. But, yeah, these, they're going to probably be, like, two, three fifty, dollars if anything, so. It's Kushlon, and it doesn't feel like what Jalik was describing in the Kyrie Low 4. He said that the Kushlon in those feels, like, real dense. These are not. These are, like, that fluffy variety of Kushlon, man, and this is that good. Okay. They Take feel me. like marshmallows. Hold up, hold up. Got it. Okay, there you go. Marshmallows with air, but the air is bouncy, and so is the marshmallow. It just feels awesome. The only thing I'm yeah, worried about is this cool. little cutout right here, where they have the stabilizer plate. Because it craters in, like that stuff is is really soft. So if you happen to plant right there at that midfoot, which some I'm people have to copy might, these, man. you know, sloppy footwork or whatever, you're supposed to be really I like that on your forefoot. Way. But if you it's happen to hit Nike that, app. it could crater and. You can roll. That's my only concern. Otherwise, they feel amazing. It's like on I'm growing line. to them. It's one of them I'm, things I'm where them. you put I'm these on them. and you're instantly like, yo, the cushion, that's legit. Now, the upper is where I'm kind of like half and half. Like, I like that they feel like they've already they been broken in. Them. I just don't like the visual aspect of them. I don't like this weird, like, grandma's couch kind of pattern. I don't know if that's what it is. It doesn't look like flowers. Right like some it instantly leopard. reminds me of, like, velvet. I think it looks like, like leopard longer. camo. Or that something. too. I think that if it was something a little more solid looking or whatever, I think that'd be cool. I like the way that it feels though so that's the plus and when we're talking about they're my type of shoes though i love shoes that's like everybody hates them and then they're like everybody's just like walking away talking bad about them i'm just in the back just smiling like i'm about to buy that shoe and abuse the crap out of it performance the feel is really what you're after i do like yeah. the way that the shoe looks i think that the design of the overall shape and everything looks dope i like the strap all that I just don't like this felt. But the upper is a Ford layered system, which is really interesting. And you can kind of see most of the layers just from that toe box area. Mm. So the very first layer is orange, which you can see through the shell layer, which is that white portion. And that's the structure layer. So those two layers are really what's keeping you in the shoe and on the footbed. And then we have the lightweight and design okay. aspect, okay. which are the top two layers. So the lightweight aspect is this TPU style mesh. And then on top of that, it's kind of like what was that thing that you were doing with the circle? It's like the old lady thing. You were making flowers. Cross stitching? Yeah, that's what this <laughs> looks like, man. It looks like that. I'm like, what kind of design is this, bro? Like, you might as well put some flowers in there. Maybe they'll do it on the Ant Pearl edition. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're going to go for it, like, go for it, right? This design just, just I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for me. But, you know, again, like there's it. a four layer system. Like You've got the backing, which is the orange. You've got the structure, which is that white layer. you got the mesh and then the design layer on top of that cross-stitch aspect for all you ladies out there that like the hoop. A different type of hoop. Hoop, yes. <laughs> cross-stitching involves a hoop. It's really weird, man. She sits there, she's like, and I'm just like, how do you have the patience? It's a marathon, not a sprint. I don't know, man. Uh, I like, remember there was a teacher, she tried having us um, knit when we was in school, and I was like, I can't do this. I'm like, we we going to have to, I don't know, give me a math lesson or something that involves reading, but I'm like, I... I can't do this. That's why I'm good at math today, because I was just like, I, I can't do no stitching stuff. Like, I tried, and I just kept messing up, 
and I'll just be sitting there like going crazy on it and things. I'm like, fam, this ain't working. The thing is not, they're not staying together. And the teacher's just like, Tyler, you had to, Tyler, you had to be patient. I'm like, I'm not a patient person. Take the needle and threads and just, oh, I ain't throwing because I'm like, yeah, I got sent to the office, but yeah, I'm like, I ain't good with that. So that's why I just go out, give me some KD-14s and you know, it's already stitched up for me. Like, yo, dude, can I print this out and just frame it real quick? Because that's what I would do. And then the back of the heel is just a molded material. It's like a molded canvas feel. The strap, mm. though, the strap is real interesting. So it looks cool, right? But is this a nod to KD's, one of KD's nicknames? The Slim Reaper. What? Yeah, that kind of looks like that thing that the Grim Reaper holds. What is that thing <laughs> called? A scathe? Oh, no. Is that a sickle? I don't know. I don't you, know always... you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Like that thing that the Reaper holds and shit. And then they even got like the scary numbers scratched into it, the 14. So I don't know if that's a nod to his nickname or not. One of. But if it is, that's kind of cool. I don't not like that, you know? Now as far as size, It looks like it's just plastic too, because I think I think it was with the um, Kyrie 6. They, uh, them shoes, like, I think it was either those or it might have been... Or it might have been Westbrook, the 0.3s. Because I know they was like, I, I remember it like that stitch thing. Or not not stitch, but the strap. Like, it will go at your shoelaces. I can't remember if it was the Kyrie 6s or the uh, uh, Russell Westbrook 0.3s. But either way, I'm like, fam. It just looked like it's just plastic. And then it's just like a thing on the side. So I'm like, good. I like that. I like that. Sir, I had to go with a nine and a half. And surprisingly, they fit like a nine. My toe's right at the edge. They kind of like have that Kyrie feel. Uh, like the Kyrie sixes and sevens. So I know I need to give snug. me a ten and a half then. Kyrie six snug. Because that was like almost a full size for most people. This guy right here, I would say go true to size if you like that super snug one to one oh. fit. But you might want to go up half a size. However, if you can find them in stores, which I called around in the Sacramento area, and guess how many stores had these? None. Why? Because wow. Nike is killing retailers. So I've heard. Yes. Well, you know, that's how woke they are. They really care. But anyways, if you can find these in stores whenever they finally are arriving in the stores, then I'd suggest trying them on. Going true to size is always the best case scenario just because it's usually the safest option. One good thing about Nike, though, is that if you get them in and they don't work for you whatsoever and you can wear them, too, like you can send them back. And it's super simple. Hmm. You just print it out. Put it back in a box. You drop it off at UPS. Boom, you're done. It's the easiest in the world so i will give nike credit they got the best return policy ever i've never seen oh you can wear them like test them for 30 days what i can hoop in these and i can return them if i don't like yes you can wow. and then they'll resell them because that's a new thing they're literally selling refurbished shoes at these factory stores what? i wow. know isn't that crazy we're gonna have to talk about this on our upcoming podcast <gasps> oh wow <laughs> there's a great face for you guys on discord who like to make the little memes of me Speaking of Discord. Oh yeah, we have a giveaway. We have two. No, we're gonna do the other one. Oh, oh no, we weren't, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore me, guys. <laughs> Ignore me. But yeah, one of the giveaways is these guys right here. Not this okay. specific pair. We're actually giving them away in this person's size, and he is right over here. Uh, he's one of our Discord community members. He's one of the many reasons, because uh, there's like, what, 500, 600 people in there? We're closing in on 600 people. So he's one of 600 reasons why we're able to, to afford join. grabbing these shoes. So we really appreciate you guys. We love everyone in there. It's a great community on top of that, and uh, it's actually really fun to have discussions. Mm -hmm. Communicate peacefully. It's a bullshit free zone. So yeah, this is one of the giveaways, the good old Carmine Sixes. It's a favorite of mine. Then I have to pull my phone out for the other one. This person right over here is getting them, and this is what the shoe looks like. They're not my thing, okay? I, I think I've like seen those shoes, shoes in I Foot Locker. Do, uh, I was going to get them, but I, I just didn't like... It made it look like your toes was like super big, and then the back part was like small. And I'm like, fam, but you can kind of see like the the indent on like how wide the toe part is, and then just how like they kind of look like some like reinforced like Cortezes or something. But I'm like, I just I don't know. Like after I seen like a up view of them, I'm like, nah, man. I'm like, my feet are already long. Like I don't need to get no size ten because I'm like that's I'm like that just don't look right, man. But I guess, like, yeah, that that one looks nice. I don't know. I shouldn't be because whoever got these shoes, they're probably all like, well, dang, like, I was watching this guy's video, and he don't like them, and he was saying all these things, and now I'm seeing it, and I don't like Get the shoes that you like. I'm not saying don't get these. If you like those uh, New Balances, get them. Freaking, I, I think I still, do I still have my New Balance? I think I do still have my New Balances, but anyways. These, and it's like the they new look thing, comfortable. Like the new Yeezy mm -hmm. is this New Balance model, which is really weird. And one of the coolest mm. parts about this giveaway for both of these guys is that they, the, 
is that the the product. God damn. <laughs> and one of the coolest parts about. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, what you guys don't see is a little mini meltdown that I have <laughs> with myself, and then I'm just like, okay, back at it. And my smile just gets bigger and bigger. Like, you can do this. Yeah, it's, and it's cool. And it's just, it's <laughs> not cool. But, anyways, what I was trying to say before I fed everything up is that this giveaway was also because of our Discord community. So, uh, one of our members, wow. Jez, he bought both of these shoes and then he sold them to us for retail because he just didn't want them for whatever reason. So, we bought both of these shoes from him for retail and then we're giving them to each of these winners, which is cool. So, the way that it works is when you sign up, there's two different tiers there's the blue team and the gold team. It's an X Men thing. The gold mm -hmm. team members, they actually pitch in the most, and those are the guys that are automatically eligible for giveaways and everybody wins something until everyone has been cycled through and then we reset the list. It is a long list, so be patient, but everybody will win something. I mean, winning something like this is pretty dope. Winning the New Balance yeah. is pretty cool, too, because some people aren't into that kind of thing. No, that, that was the thing, is that I've been actually quite impressed with, what would you call it, like... The taste and variety of yes. everybody is so vast that That's, there's something for everybody. That is one of the coolest parts about the community, is that, like, we were talking about Birkenstocks the other day. <laughs> people were being like, bro, you got to try it. And I was just like, no, man, like, I'm not trying Birkenstocks, bro. That's what I mean by the peaceful discussion. Like, it's fun to talk about shit and not have everybody be in a piss poor mood all the time. That's the rest of the internet. But anyways, That's thank good. you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Might have to check their uh, Mellow. Oh, he freaking got the, he had to pay $500 for the Mellow shoes. I just remember when they were coming out with their shoes back in the, like, few years ago. And they were charging like $500 for them shoes. I'm like, fam. First off, nobody don't even know about the shoes. Second, I'm like, why would I spend that much on shoes? I'm like, bro, they ain't even like, freak out, go and get me some Jordans for that. So I'd give me a couple of pair of Jordans for the same price, probably more. And I'm like, uh-uh, no. Because I can't remember exactly when, but I do remember when, like, Jordans, uh, especially mids, because I was like, um, I'm a fan of mids. And I remember back, like, a few years ago, they were like 110. Now they're like 125 or something. I'm like, fam, I could go get me, like, a like four or five pairs of mids for that price i'm like i'm not doing that to myself so but anyways this was a pretty good video shout out to wear testers if you guys haven't make sure you go subscribe to them for more videos like this like subscribe to me too i'll talk to you guys later thank you for watching another sneakers insight video stay tuned for some more videos and peace